Hello guys! Do you know that a Ukrainian sniper has set a world record this November, neutralizing a Russian invader 3.5 kilometers away from him? That is more than 2.3 miles. And there are many other interesting special military operations conducted by Ukrainian SBU that I want to tell you more about. My name is Anna, and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight informational war. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So, in Ukrainian defense, different parts of Ukrainian society take part. Of course, we all are very grateful to the Ukrainian armed forces, but they are not the only one fighting for our liberation. And Ukrainian SBU is worth our attention too. So what is SBU for those of you who don't know? This is security service of Ukraine and they are not a part of Ukrainian armed forces. Traditionally, they are responsible for more intelligence and security operations, but they do have fighting units. And these fighting units are a real elite. And today I want to tell you more about snipers from SBU and also about drone drivers, pilots, pilots from SBU because they work a little bit differently than the rest of Ukrainian army. So, first of all, uh, there are many beautiful operations that were already conducted by SBU. And the most recent one, the one I love, is the destruction of the railway tunnel on the border between Russia and China, paralyzing the supply of so much needed military uh, details to Russian producers and thus saving more Ukrainian lives. Remember to subscribe because 50% of people who watch do not subscribe and that is a battalion of real informational warriors and that is indeed important. So, um, there are many operations that SBU is developing. I am sure they are responsible for a number of smoking incidents inside Russian Federation, but they also have a perfect unit of snipers. So recently a world record was set by a Ukrainian sniper who is a part of SBU and who stopped the invader 3.5 kilometers away. Many world champions and European champions in shooting are now a part of this unit. And I think it's super illustrative that the best people protect Ukraine, their motherland. And this is what shows this huge gap between Russian orc invaders and Ukrainian defenders. And that's why we need to save as many people as possible, because on the Ukrainian side, we do have the best of us. Uh, Russian orcs often um, encourage me to go to the trenches. Well, I can tell you women are not mobilized in Ukraine. My region is semi-safe at the moment, so I don't feel this urge to go to the front lines. And I feel totally okay with that because there are other things we have to do here. But women are actually the best snipers. So trolls mind if you push me. I may go and become a sniper. Will you like it? <laughs> anyway, uh, they are responsible for the covering of some of important like meetings. Also, they typically shoot the most important military commanders because they are elite, but at the same time, they have to take care of themselves and there are not many super snipers. That's why they literally have to be saved for the most important operations. What I have also learned, and if that is really sad, that very rarely snipers are taken as prisoners of war. In most cases, they are executed at the moment when they are captured, because if they uh, manage to hide their professionalism and then they are exchanged back, for example, then they can continue killing the enemy. That's why it is a known fact that in different wars, when a person is identified as a sniper, this may mean death sentence at the moment. That's why we have to take good care of them. Recently, I have watched a documentary. It is not yet uh, dubbed in English, unfortunately, but it is about the protection of Bakhmut, uh, the road of life. 
and actually many snipers of ASBO were performing uh, various important operations protecting the movements of Ukrainian armed forces. But they are also re responsible for the usage of FPV drones, which were gaming drones. Uh, drones should be gaming and video filming, not killing instruments, but at the moment it's different. So these FPV drones, they are very dynamic, they can speed up and other stuff. And Ukrainian SBU was the first one to adapt and use them to carry explosives. And in this documentary, they describe an operation that took four days. And within this operation, they destroyed 79 items of Russian heavy vehicles, armored vehicles, tanks, and so on. And the head of Ukrainian SBU, Maluk, says, it is a really beautiful moment, and I totally agree with him, when you see how a 500 bucks drone destroys a tank that is worth a million dollars. That is beautiful. And uh, that is why we can definitely say that this war is the war of technologies. And the better technologies you have, the easier it is to stop this evil. Because Russia has access to many things it needs. And you know that these authoritarian regimes, they are very fast at supplying and supporting each other. And uh, also they have created a lot of factories where they develop these drones and Russia is not targeted. You have to understand that every military um, enterprise factory in Ukraine is in great danger. And that's why uh, they are separated. They are operating in really difficult locations. And in Russia, they are safe to do whatever they want. That is why it is so important that Ukrainian SBU manages to conduct operations deep in the rear of Russian Federation ruining their logistics, ruining their military infrastructure and demotivating them, causing panic among the producers of uh, things and maybe people won't work on that factories or other stuff because once again you see that there is a huge epidemic of smoking on various military objects inside Russia. So SBU unit like A unit Alpha, they are working uh, not as a typical uh, Ukrainian army unit where they stand for months in one location, but very often they have travels for a couple of days, a week, performing something complicated and returning back to, I don't know, Kiev or to other place of location. And I think that in future, these special operations of Ukrainian SBU, Security Service of Ukraine, may be um, as a background for an, an adventurous movie because indeed they are smart and they are brave and uh, they are inspirational. Let me know, would you like to hear more about uh, this top operations conducted by Ukrainian SBU? And um, I can prepare a video on that. And thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram threads, Twitter and Discord. Tomorrow there will be a special video, if everything is fine, um, where we will celebrate uh, 100,000 subscribers and more. And these are all friends. Check our merch shop, lots of beautiful presents for Christmas, New Year season and just for yourself. They work as great conversation starters and reminders about the Ukraine and that we need to stay united against this evil and soon we will see Russia defeated. Slava Ukraini!